I need you to provide your and ID. And you are going to single me out? I need you to provide your ID. I have no... I told you, I will go to jail with you. I will go. I'm not going to fight you on this. Take me downtown. We both know cash for bail is over. No, I don't care what you want. You're going you're gonna to respect my rights or you're going to back down. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to back down. I'm not going to back down. There we go. I need your Neither ID. am I. I need your ID. Neither am I. You are dismissed. Continue and do your job. This video was filmed on August 17th, 2023 by Justice Tracker, and it has the Champaign PD in Champaign, Illinois. But this video only happened because the police were retaliating for what happened the previous night. <laughs> hey, get him on the ground. Get him on the ground. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they saw him. Oh, they saw him. Oh! <laughs> So they illegally arrested him the night before, and that wasn't enough. An educated citizen questioning their wrath and oppression was just too much for these cops to handle. So they drove by his house and sat out front. And in true fashion, once Justice Tracker knew the police were sitting there, he started bumping NWA's the police. These cops got immediately triggered. They jumped out the car, demanded ID, and started threatening arrest for playing a song that told them to go f themselves. This one is awesome. 22, he said my address on camera. He said stand by. That means they're already trying to in in instigate an action. I'm, I'm, that's all. I heard all that. Hey, sir. No, that's fine. Sure. I'm gonna tell Where's you your complaint? Kind of a, a warning. Where, the complaint what's is, the warning? Is, is that you can't be in complaint. Loud. It's too loud. It's against city ordinance violation. It is. Now the cop is a complaining party because the music is in excess of the city's ordinance for music. But what does the city ordinance actually say? Champaign, Illinois' Code of Ordinances states that no person can operate a sound amplification system in a motor vehicle if the sound can be heard outside the vehicle from 75 feet or more. This applies when the vehicle is located or operated on a public right-of-way, unless the system is being operated to request assistance. As we can clearly see in the video, the police officer's car is only parked about 10 feet from his driveway, and they walk directly up to him, so without turning around, marking out 75 feet, and seeing if they could still hear it from that distance, there's no way to say that he was violating any ordinance. Secondly, Justice Tracker doesn't have a sound amplification system. He has stock radio, so that doesn't apply. Lastly, Justice Tracker isn't on a public right-of-way. He's in his driveway. So that doesn't apply either. But we really can't be surprised that these cops are dirty. Everyone seems to think that. Let's look at their Google reviews. The Champaign Police Department has a 2.7 rating out of 36 reviews only 3.6 out of 5 on Facebook. And out of those 36 reviews, the most popular search term is the word corrupt. So I don't think anyone's surprised that this is happening. There are bars downtown that have louder music than this when you roll down the street. That's fine. City ordinance. That's fine. Now this moron's going to preach to us about city ordinance. Well, if you look past his horrendous blue line ring, that's right. This cop is most definitely married to the game. You'll see less than 10 feet away his patrol car, about 65 feet short of where he would have needed to be to see if this violation ever existed. Any Where's your decimal reader? It doesn't have to be a decimal you, reader. So it's your experience? Yes. Got it. The city ordinance says that any amplified music got that it. can be heard on your permission. property... Yeah, I got it. it that car is louder than mine every day, okay. but I got it. Okay. Go ahead. So I will make video. I will make a video evidence. You turn it Please down. pay attention, my brother. I will make a video documentary of the loud noise around my neighborhood every okay. day that no one complains about, and how an officer told me mine is too loud. Yes. That, there's cars right there that boom every okay. day that boom my walls. Okay. But you're around telling me mine. I'm not calling. Sir. I didn't make a complaint. Around what time? It, I didn't. Your, I don't make. I'm not complaining. I'm only saying this so that way, since you have yours, we can start. It's way louder. So this, but that's but I don't complain. Can I just say, but can he I, has a complaint against me, can I speak which you can't well? be a complaining. And I don't know if you know that or not. Are you? I, I, I make sense. It makes sense. You're way younger than me. I know I look young. I've been doing this for a long. It definitely does. Experience. Explain it real quick. Cops planning. 
Second. I said cops playing me. Go ahead. Cops playing me. Second. I said cops playing me. Go ahead. I think it's pretty clear what he said, officer. He told you to go ahead and cops blame him. And folks at home, just so you know, cops blaming is when police know they're in the wrong and they want to talk their way out of it because they think you're dumb enough to believe it. It's their cop logic versus the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is the night prior, they made an illegal arrest. Now they're stalking him. He played NWA the police. They didn't like it, so now they're trying to sweat him for ID. Their cop logic tells them, let's just make some up. Tell me what I don't know. Okay. So what, so... I'm a constitutionalist. Tell me what I don't know. Okay, Go ahead. So my thing I'm going to listen. Here. I'll listen. Right. I'll listen. Okay. Yeah, I'll listen. So, I don't want to hear anybody here. complain or anything, but just like in Austin State, for example, if your vehicle is driving down the street, so it's not driving. Cost, listen to me, man. Just, uh, okay, I'm sorry for interrupting your, your, your explanation. You, you, you're not going to let me talk, are you? I you, definitely you, you don't want me to talk. I promise you, you I want to hear it. Okay. Is that so, what you're going to do? Hypothetically speaking. Okay. Let's say a vehicle's riding down the street, right? You're a so you know, you know your laws, right? Yeah. Okay, so how many feet away can you not, can you hear a, a sound application device coming from a vehicle before you pull it over? So, no, just answer the question. I haven't said anything. I'm waiting for you. Answer the question. Where's your decimal reader? You don't need a decimal reader. You don't need that? No, you do not. So how do you know how many feet away? How many feet goes by, for example, how, 50 to 75 feet. How do you know? Have you made the example by, by calculating the feet with your I, feet? I can. I can grab my So you can. Do you want me to grab my tape measure real quick? That's Would you like me to do that? I'll grab it right now for you. Just for you. Thank you, sir. This is how far down the rabbit hole these idiot cops are willing to go. Officer, you should have had the tape measure in the first place. So now, officer, what do you expect to happen? Are you going to get your tape measure, walk 75 feet away, and then yell at him to turn back on NWA's the police? So then you can get triggered by the song, go back up to him, and demand ID again? This is the brilliance of the Champaign Police Department in Champaign, Illinois. Seven, what's your name? Bloom. D. Bloom. 742. Is your body camera on? Yes, it is. Excellent. Thank you. I like to educate our local law enforcement so that we can have a better experience. I like to help educate residents so that, of the city. Did you go to law school? What? No, I didn't. You went to the academy? I went to the police academy. Okay, that's all right. Enough said. I like education. It's a great thing. got your situation handled and everything it's none of your concern i'm sure it's public information no no it's not i'll look it up tonight perfect you look it up tonight. for you are you serious did you just say that to me it's, it's not concern. public knowledge no. not all of it is no you're explaining a lot to me no, no it seriously is public domain not all of it not all of the information that was gathered on this call is your is out for public record it's not you're right so that anything I disrupted, not public domain. Ask your question again. There was no aspect of whatever investigation you were conducting that wouldn't be public domain to me. There's, There's no, no you heard me. Would be. There would be. What? There's juveniles involved, so you would not have access to Have that I filmed any juveniles? No, no. Have that, I disrupted anything? That's not what I said. You literally you're said my music. My, you're, you're putting words I in filmed my you saying that my music, you couldn't think. You said it. It's on camera. Yeah. Now, recant. Yeah, I did say that it was so loud that it was hard to think. Yes, I did say that it was so loud that it was hard to think. Yes, I did say that it was so loud that it was hard to think. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, officer, that NWA's the police offended your sensibilities and didn't allow your two brain cells to actually connect to make a thought. I wonder which part of the song made it so hard for this cop to think. Was it the police coming straight out the underground? Everyone at home can feel safe. If he was watching, he's no longer, because after that, he can't think. I did say As that. A so you're a trained professional through the academy who has experience. How long have you been a police officer? 20 years. Who's he kidding? He's been a cop for 20 years, and he's never heard that song before. Not fooling us, officer.
When he was 17, he was probably driving around in his daddy's Cadillac with his fubus on, rapping the whole song, and especially probably saying that word he knows he shouldn't be saying. But now his sensibilities have been offended. 20 year veteran, loud music can actually disrupt your thoughts? Yes. Okay. I'll take that. This is uh, Officer Bloom, yep. patrol officer yes, of 20 years. Uh, you're not getting it. So you're in violation of the city. Go orders. ahead and, 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 and arrest yep. me. I'll, I'm ready to go. I'll put everything down. I'll go. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, no, I don't care. It's a I'll go, I want to go to jail. Not, if you write me a ticket, you're taking me to jail. It's not, I want to go. It's not if a, not, leave me alone. You're taking Trunks open. Where's that other cop with the tape measure? How many cops does it take to find a tape measure? To see if the song the police was playing loud enough to offend the police. No, that, that's not a joke or a riddle. I'm seriously mind blown. Watch what's going to happen now me to jail or you're not bothering me you better not touch anything of mine close it so I can see your no you're not plate. you better not touch my private property sir fourth amendment no. fourth amendment I'm secure in my persons and property exactly. itself do not touch my property on private property I have an officer on my private property with this private property keep out Step, stepping to my property and that's the moment he realized that he up first of all justice tracker has a sign that says no trespassing He's already lawfully given a verbal trespass notice to the police. So at this point, they're engaged in criminal loitering. Secondly, the cops can't close your trunk so they can get a better look at your license plate so they can try and ID you when they don't have reasonable articulable suspicion or probable cause to ID you in the first place. That's like without a crime, they demand ID from Justice Tracker. He says no, so they throw him on the ground, reach in his pockets, go through his wallet, and pull out his ID. Clear Fourth Amendment violation. Now, the car is in plain view. If the hatch had been closed, it's open, it's in the public, the police officers could have ran it without any crime or suspicion of anything. But they can't touch your property. They can't open your door without consent or a warrant. Trying back to video up. cam While back up on my property, take me down Google and arrest way. me. This I'll, I'll go. I'll go. No, I want you to do what you feel you have the right Keep to do. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me, please. Now we're pockets. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Now we're pockets. Yep. Now we're pockets. Thank you for escalating. You're the one that is doing this. You're thing. an officer. You're supposed to de escalate. So you're training your policy. I read every day. I know your whole policy manner of conduct. Literally, I know it. And you're not acting in it. Continue on camera. Continue. You're in, violation. you're in violation of a city ordinance. I am asking Prove you. Prove it. He didn't I get am. the tape measure. It doesn't matter. If your amplified what music is if your if device stop. to record your, the distance. If your what is your device? Music, what is your device? My ears. 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 This is absolutely rich. With only six weeks of training at the police academy, now this officer's ears are certified and calibrated decibel readers. They also have the ability from 10 feet away to know if the song that says not such nice things about the police could be heard an additional 60 feet away. <laughs> your experience? Yes. If so you can judge distance talking. by feet, by stop your ears? Talking. It's not about feet. Back away 50 it's feet and tell me feet. if you can hear it. It's not about feet. So what is it? Anything that can be heard off of your property line is violation So when I go downtown... Ordinance. Remember before we talked about cops blaming? Well, that's it. Even though we read the city ordinance, now it's not about feet, which it actually is. It's literally based on feet. Now the city ordinance is if you can hear the music off of the property line. It's weird. We literally went over the city ordinance. None of that was in it. Hey, officer, just quick, quick mention from the peanut gallery. Justice Tracker's next door neighbor is listening to everything that you're saying. He's listening to everything that you're saying, officer, because he can hear your voice and he's past the property line. So officer, now are you going to ID yourself because someone can hear noise past the property line and you're the person generating the noise? Are now you in violation of this imaginary law? Well, the answer to that question is no, but you are definitely a 
fucking idiot. I don't hear the music from the clubs and the bars yes. banging into the street. They're in violation. You could call are it. they in violation? They can so be why yes. aren't you arresting them? Because I'm so not. So you're there singling right me now. out. I am not. So your so your no. department is singling no. me out. No. Your department is singling. Yes, I they are. You, you literally have clubs that have double the decimal volume downtown. I go there every night. I need you to provide your and ID. And you are going to single me out. I need you to provide your ID. I have no. I told you I will go to jail with you. I will go. I'm not gonna fight you on this. Take me downtown. We both know cash for bail is over. No, I don't care what you want. You're going, you're going to respect my rights or you're going to back down. I'm not going to back down. There we go. I need your Neither idea. am I. I need your idea. Neither am I. Okay. Do what you got to do. I'm right here. I told you I will willingly go. I will not resist arrest. I will not resist your commands once you've placed me in arrest for what? The I'm accepting it. I accept it. Your officer, I accept why you're going to arrest me. You don't even know why. Because you won't listen. You're definitely right. I don't. Yes. We're conducting the investigation for the city order. What is your name and badge number? I just want to, for the record, 7-Eleven. Go ahead. Give them the license plate number. Once okay. they once they register my name, I'm going to tell you back down. You know why? Because I've sued you before. I'm suing you now. I've sued. Continue. Continue. What's your name What's your name and badge number? Officer Walton, badge number 711. I appreciate you being more respectful than him. He was triggered. That, it, For the record, I observed that. Do what you got to do, man. I'm not going to fight you or resist. Do what you feel like you have to do. I promise you I won't resist. Whatever you say it is, officer. Okay, well, sir, I'm just going to call you sir for now. Since I don't have to keep talking. Call me about public me. good citizen who abides by the law. Call so me that. My, my question is this here. Why did this have to turn into such a big deal? Yeah, I, that's not, that wasn't on me. You guys could have done your job and walked off. Don't ask me that. Do not ask me that. You guys are trained by the academy professionals who are trained that's in your manual de-escalation training and i'm going to check your your i'll check i'm checking both your jackets tonight i'm going to put in the foyer immediately i'm going to know your we, disciplinary we, we, record we i'm going to know your disciplinary record i'm going to know here. your training i am going to you know your salary listen. you just think you i am going to know when you were hired so you listen to i am me. going to know what any complaints you have i'm going to know everything about you Perfect. by in, in a few days, we right? To I'll find that out. I walked out here and I asked you to turn. You did down not a act that was very in simple. the procedural manner. That's you did you not. He did. Things. No, no. I know what I observed. I know the camera don't lie. So since I did, you might just turn it down for us. We can leave. He's already escalated. Come on, man. Let's let's let us. De-escalate and and I'm gonna tell you what else. All you have to do is literally. I'm gonna keep space. Hmm? All you have to do is literally get in your cars and leave. There's no. I don't have. There's no complaint to. All right, you know law or you're learning. I've been doing this for a long time, over so ten you, years. You never answered I've my been, question originally. You're, you're you, going to you, either hear me you're, out or you're, you're going to cops explain me. You're you're That's preaching. fine. That's fine. You're preaching you have me, the but you have you have the authority and the option to say, hey, you know what? This ain't even a big deal. Let's just get in our cars and go. Mission. Is this something that you're trying to do again? To get another? I'm just. Asking. That's where we're going. I'm. I'm asking. See? I'm curious now. Your narrative is changing. Okay. I'm just um, asking a question. You have options here. You have two options. You have two. It ain't on me. I'm going to abide. All right? Two options. You can escalate it continually. You can force whatever you want to force. And I'm, I'm fine with all that. Or you can be like, you know what? This is no big deal. Yeah. Our objective is accomplished. Get in your cars and leave and leave it alone. It's on you from here. You can. It's on you from here. So you're not taking any responsibility? You know what? You were escalated as a profession. You're on the job, for God's sake. You're on the job. You're not taking any responsibility. You're not going to respond to that, are you? That, are you that on the I, job? That I, that I, I am on the job, yes. And I so did. you're supposed to be professional, yes, courteous, respectful, yes, and I was. protect and serve, yes. de-escalate. Yes. Then why are you in my driveway when your scene was because over there? Because of music that has stopped now. Why are you in my... That damn blower is louder than my music. That, yeah, no, 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 no. So is it mute? You no, I do. I actually do. Perfect. Don't do that. Then you talk I got a job for the mayor tomorrow. Deb Finian, Perfect. I work. So don't play with Perfect. me. You ran into the wrong driveway. You just didn't realize it. You just really didn't realize it. That's fine. This is your opportunity to be like, you know what? You know well, what? It's down now. You know what? Turn it down? It's totally up to you from here. And you're on records. Whatever you choose to do, I don't care. I'll, I'll abide by it. Your office is the law. Your authority stops when you're breaking the law, but that's fine. I'll still abide by it until whatever. Like, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, buddy. I promise you. You'll regret it later if you don't do the right thing. I promise you will. Perfect. Okay. Any action I take will be lawful. You're right. 
Am I being detained or am I under arrest? You're currently not free to go, no. So, I didn't ask you that. See, see that? Am I being detained or am I under arrest? It's a very specific question. Okay, and if you don't answer it, I'm going to walk off. If you don't answer the question directly, I will walk off. You didn't. If you don't tell me I'm detained or under arrest, I'm walking off. As right now, you're being detained. Thank you. No, he he did it right. So as of right now you're being detained. So why am I being detained for a, sus a suspicion of what crime? And what is your reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime has been committed? About we to be committed. We investigated a city ordinance violation. You failed to identify yourself. You are obstructing That's a our. You are, crime? you are obstructing our. Yes. Your identification. City ordinance for loud music. Yes. I don't hear any music. Yeah, it was earlier captured on body camera. And That's phone. fine, but do you hear it now? So are you going to give up your information? Ah, uh, you know what? Like I said. I will go with you willingly. I'll put my phone down. I'll stop. I'll stop the recording here where I'm being detained in my on my property. Are you going to give up by two day officers day? on scene for something that happened next door at my neighbor's house? I will willingly go with you, officer, and submit to your authority. I will willingly go. So you're gonna tell us you heard me what I said. I, look, I'm not gonna play with words and do all those games. I'm not. I, that's I, exactly I, what you are doing. That's exactly what you are doing. We went from a simple request of turning your. You could have gotten your cars and left. That would not have been our job, though. What? Our job is to stop music because yes. you're mad. No, not because I'm mad. No, because it's disrupting. You the were piece. triggered. It's you definitely were triggered. Piece. You did. And your you, neighbors. Both just of don't you got options. Complain. I talked to him with my music. I'm not talking Hey, about my him. neighbor, did you have a problem with my music? I did not talk about him. Did you have a problem? You didn't? Neighbor. Thank you. Oh, this is going to be great. This going to be what? This is going to be great. Exactly what you shouldn't do. What's that? Bitch, what, what, but it's also good at the same time. We need to expose this stuff. We, this, what am I doing that I shouldn't be this doing? This needs to be captured. What am I doing that I shouldn't be doing? You're violating... Let's say, for example, I'm exhibiting my First Amendment right. You can you can have loudspeakers with that. Do you realize that? You don't know law, and I can. You know what? I'm not going to go on this to you with your you. First Amendment right. You is definitely not don't know law. You definitely amplified. don't know law. It is you not. definitely don't know law. You definitely don't. And you're about to cost your department. Continue is all I got to say, man. Just just do it. Do it. Do what you got to do. I greatly appreciate. I don't care either. Do what you got to do, man. Amplify this, man. Do it. Cost your department because of your ego. I Go ahead. I, I greatly appreciate the. Both, both, both. I greatly appreciate however, the music I turned down. If you could just keep it down again, we don't have. To I'm gonna have live my life and be a free that. citizen. Talk, man. I'm sorry that you well, feel you that just, way. Because you no, it's I just not, don't like it's, explanations for being a free citizen. It's it's not that, man. It's not. Continue, that. man. So. <laughs> continue. I just said continue. Look, man. If, so, if someone if someone is standing right here from right here. Over there, and they can hear your music. That is more than seven. And you touch my trunk illegally. No. Just know, I know. No. I don't care. Just know you. Just know you know I know. It's not illegal. that done. So not illegal. done. You Thank cross the threshold, however, without permission. Just know what I know. Perfect. I don't care how you feel. Just know I know, and I'll proceed Perfect. properly. Perfect. D Bloom. Appreciate 742. The music for being turned down at this point. Mm -hmm. If you could just keep it low so the B. Walton, yes. I don't appreciate how you attempted to get on his side, but I liked how initially you did everything right and how even now you're using proper training. And I've recognized it and I put you on notice I've recognized it. 7 Eleven, good job. And I appreciate you for turning the music down. If I didn't touch down, it, I didn't touch well, it. Well, it helped us out. But I appreciate <laughs> it, helped us out. I appreciate. It's noticed. And I appreciate this. However it happened, if it was Casper, they did. That's fine. I appreciate it's, it's noticed right. what you just did. Just know that. I know you can't always answer for, you know, partners and whatnot, but just notice I noticed. We don't have to go any further than that. Just know I know what I'm talking about, and I appreciate that. Thank you, officer. You guys have a good evening. You are dismissed. Continue and do your job. Protect and serve. Okay. All right? Okay. We need more officers that are compliant with constitutional law and rights mm -hmm. and that aren't triggered by unnecessary situations that know how to de-escalate according to training and policy. It's a good thing. And you're a black officer. Recognize. Good job. Because this all started with policing of black people. So good job. Appreciate that. You guys have a good night. Continue. You as well, man. All right. That's all I got to say. Mm -hmm. I know you're under certain. I know a lot more than I got it. Good job. You have a good
But did this cop really do a good job? Stalking Justice Tracker once in a day just isn't enough. Not when he played music that questioned their authority. So this real nice cop had to stop by and stalk him again. Anything beyond that, like right now, is just going to be a discredit to the badge. As far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned. I just want good officers. I just want good officers. I just, I don't want officers chasing music. I want officers chasing crime. Okay? That's all I'm saying. It, it, you, you're catching, look, I want officers chasing crime, not music. Okay. Not so, ego. So, you don't so I'm going to listen. I just addressed your question. And I'm only, and I'm only trying to For the record. So do you not want... No. This is so disappointing. No. So, you, so y'all don't want to see the ordinance? This no, is so don't. disappointing, man. Like, you don't even so you know. know. There is an ordinance for music. We do. Okay. So chase that all around town. I better see more reports and documentation of it happening where it's being policed. Have a great night. You have a great night, man. Y'all be safe out there, man. It's dangerous. When y'all roll up on the wrong shit, it's dangerous. Y'all be safe. Guys, I get lots of emails on a daily basis. And a lot of these emails are from you fine folks at home, and most of them include video submissions like Justice Trackers. So when I read the email and I saw his channel and I looked at some of the titles of the videos, I was like, no way. And then I watched them and I was like, holy smokes. You can't believe how dirty these cops can be. Now, in this video description, I'm going to put a link to his channel, the video that you just watched. Also, in the beginning, you saw a clip of his illegal arrest. I'm going to put in the description of this video the link to that also. We're in a really bad place when police officers can be offended that you don't like that they violated your rights and arrested you. When you watch his arrest video, either filmed by his girlfriend or in the body cam, you can clearly see that he did nothing but engage in his First Amendment right to free speech. Uh, and his girlfriend wound up getting arrested too. This is a serious problem, right? Like, they did something bad to you. They broke the law. They hurt you. They caused you harm. And then you were upset by that. And that gives them now the right to be offended. Like, oh, can you believe that jerk justice tracker? We assaulted him, violated his First Amendment right and his Fourth Amendment right. We went hands on and we just, we were absolutely awful. And he got mad at us. Can you believe that jerk? What a terrible guy. And they're so unhinged and mentally unstable that the next day they drive by his house and sit out front and stalk him. And now again... He is upset that his rights were violated. Now they're showing up at his doorstep just to watch him that he plays a song. And again, the police are the victim. How dare he play a song that is not kind to the police? This is policing in America. This is the type of stuff that is happening every single day. And before, you know, if cops knew you had a big channel, then they, they would be hesitant to do the stuff that they did to Justice Tracker. But now things are even better because even folks that don't have a big channel, they can send it to folks like me or Lackluster or Freeman. There's so many places they can send it. So cops have a fear that even the little guy might be able to still hold them accountable. In this situation, these cops didn't care at all. This is the Champaign Police Department in Champaign, Illinois. They are absolutely awful. These are the type of cops that make living in communities dangerous. These are the type of cops that make living anywhere dangerous. So make sure you check out Justice Tracker. Tell them Accountability for All sent you. Set the notification bell to always. And don't forget, that's the reason I stopped you today. In the past four years, I've done as much as I can with a camera until I finally decided that enough was enough. So I decided to create change from the inside out, not just from within myself, but from within the government. I decided to run for office and someone told me, well, as far as your candidacy goes, we've been in town a long time and the people here have been here a long time and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. The town is in the red. The committees and boards are not only being lied to, information's being withheld from them. 
and a superintendent that makes more money than the governor of this state is insulating his pockets. And to do that, he's selling off pieces of our school to private interest groups. And people would say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The system is broke. But it would take a real sheep to look at something obliterated and try and call it anything else but broke. Well, something else is broke. Our trust in the government, our trust in accountability, and our belief that a government of the people, for the people, and by the people will represent our interests. How can they care about our interests? They're only concerned with special interests. And your opinion is the last thing that interests them. The small town of Townsend, Massachusetts that I live in is much like any other town or city in these United States of America. The politicians would like you to think that you're turning a blind eye, but you're not. They're doing a great job at keeping your eyes closed. Because how can you make decisions on things that you don't even know about? People would be so quick to complain about the government, but they don't show up at the polls to cast a vote to change it. We need to vote. We need to be involved. If the government refuses accountability, we have to put them in a position where they don't have a choice. We have to remind them that they serve us, we the people. It takes a village, and I'm tired of the wolves walking around in mine. And we can beat these guys. These guys refers to politicians. Anyone who has a disdain for our constitutional inalienable rights. We can beat them with this. We can beat them with this. And we can beat them with this. Our voice. My name is Josh Abrams, and I come from a small town just like Townsend. And I still believe that in a small town, you can dream big. And you need to have a government that represents you. A government for the people and a government by the people that represents your interests and not special interests. Right now we have a superintendent whose collective budget and eight secretaries amass over $1.5 million. In fact, he makes more than the current governor of Massachusetts. And that salary is being used to insulate his position and make it stronger. Why Townsend residents, students, and parents get weaker by selling off portions of our public school systems to private companies and interest groups. I have one interest, we the people in this town of Townsend. That's why I'm running Select Board, to serve you, the people of Townsend. Hello. Hi, Josh. So we meet again for yes. the first time, though. Yeah, OK. Board <laughs> um, of Selectmen, you have to write out your name. OK, so I'm the candidate here. Yep. You're my full name. Yep. All right, thank you very much. All right, much. you're welcome, Appreciate my friend. It. If you have any questions, give us a call. Yes, thank you. Will do. All Thanks right, very much. All right, Thanks. you're Take welcome. Care. See you later. Thank you. Last year in Townsend, only 1% of the population voted for what was going on in their neck of the woods and who would be representing them. I think it is everyone's duty to get out and vote for the change that you seek with the people that you meet. And that's the reason I stopped you today. My name's Josh Abrams, owner and operator of YouTube's Accountability for All, Civil Rights Activist, First Amendment Auditor, and Board of Selectmen Hopeful. And I approve this message.